Então, um, I'll speak in English, it's better. So, this is the second video. I'll have a bit more time. So, this is Sunday, around 20 hours for the weekly close. And we had, everyone was very bullish because everyone was buying on the 21. And we made a bounce here, expecting because Although I said and I wasn't a short from the top because from the previous videos I said that this it's a really strong area for a short and for a and to make a new lower low. So it's it basically it what what happened but we did we didn't have like a big we made kind of a top but not like a big rejection so everyone was buying on the twenty one. So I, I was shorting from the top. I bought the 21, but as soon as I see that we were starting to reject by the end, you know, I made a short again as soon as we closed here. This is the four hours. This candle below the 21, I made a short and I put a stop loss here. And I took the risk and then we crashed. So because I was quite convicted that this area to make a lower low was very important in all the macro chart. So that's what I did. So then we just bounced from here and the candle, the four hours candle closed above the, the 100 and bounced, bounced from the 200 exponential. So on this, I was shorting from the top and now I'm on the long, which I have here, I, I can show in a bit. Basically what I did on the long, because when it was crashing by bit, was buffering and I couldn't make at the right time the, the long or close the short, but I just waited and there's no problem with that, no need to rush. So basically, what we see here, this big week candle close green, coming down, test support and, and back up. Let's look at this bounce here. I put the five minutes and big candle down, big buy up, green candle going up to the top and the big week coming down to test exactly this week here. Basically I can show here, I bought exactly on the week, this is the week. This is where I bought. So I'm already with 40% profit here. Only with $400 today I already did 350% on $400 too. So I'm already in a $400 long, but I still have $700 here. And then I keep, can adjust more. I'll put the stop loss here below this area on the 7.5. And I can add or take out now from, from this position. But because we closed above this candle, I think the price can come down and then that coming closer back up. So, so today it's been a profit, profitable day, not so with so much money, but I will just add if I need to. So I prefer to play like with 400 contracts, 700, adding, adding it and making some money, not, but it's cool like this. In other areas I could do with more money, but. It's fine like this for me, just for fun. And okay, so back, back here on the five minutes. So totally the same as the 4K bounce. And I got here on this position and now I'm just waiting to see if we manage to go higher because of the four hours. On the four hours, we are bouncing from this week. So this is the area now. It's this week, the pivot, and we have the new pivot here. But we still, we still didn't test the major support, which is here. So I think we might bounce up. Now the big resistance, it's here, the, the control area, the point of control, here and here. This is our, these are the areas to short again, or, or, or try to and let's see what it does and i think we still can bounce down but but before that we might 
try to push higher, even, even coming here to the same area. But I think many people here didn't thought they were going up, so they didn't make the shorts and they thought this area here would hold. So I don't, that's why it crashed, because there was not, not so many buyers or not so many sellers, basically. So the price came down and now it's here but it closed above the, the 100, so I think we will range here the, these 24 hours. And let's see what it does. The daily indicators are still point, pointing down, so this is the big area to buy. This is the other one here, because we didn't come down to test it, so it wasn't, and here as well. This is, if we lose this, the 6,900, 6, that's when the problem starts to come, and then after closing below this 6.5. But since we are quite high, we, we need to buy on the moving averages. They are a very strong support. If we start closing below this moving, the last moving average on the four hours, or on the daily, that's the, when the problems start to arrive and the trends start to change. For now, we are still buying the dip and on the daily, so we are above the 21. The 20 is here, which is, is aligned with, the, with this candle here, with this week. So this is where I bought, basically, because now we have this range from here to here, around here or here, this new range form. And yeah, so this is the other area on the daily to buy. Indicators are pointing down, so we can still push a bit higher, but I think we come down to test the, the main supports here, which I said before. This one and this one. This is the most important one. We cannot miss this one here on the 6,900 more or less around this area here, which is these tops here. So. At the moment, it's buy, buy, have all the areas here are to buy. If we start losing this area here, or, or this one, then I think we come down to test this area, and then the big buy will be here on the 5.4, around 5.4. All this area here is to buy. But, it, but then Bitcoin will maybe make a, a trend change, and maybe we, we can bounce big time, but then come back, back down. So let's see, for now we need to hold this to keep the strong bullish momentum and this is very good to buy, very good spots to buy, even on this area and where I bought as well, so area by area. And yeah, so here this is where I think Bitcoin will come sooner or later for a big bounce on the 6,932 more or less here because these ones were already tested, this low was tested, this low was tested, this low wasn't tested here. And here we just move grind up without coming back to test the support. So this is where I think Bitcoin is the big test of Bitcoin holding this area. If we close below here, then I think the trend will start to change. But until there, it's to buy, buy the dip. And, and as soon as we stay below the 21, it's short, basically, it's sell the tops and then it's readjust level by level to see what Bitcoin is doing. Overall, you need to see where we are and we, with this week down now, this move down, we made the lower low from here and we didn't manage to make a higher low. So let's see, but we can do the same as here, the price comes down and then back up to test, to take out everyone that was on the short, on late shorts, and make another lower low, who knows, level by level. Okay, so daily, weekly, so we are already below the, the 50, but we, we still might close above, we already have this big week down how today, and let's see wh how it, where it closed. If it closes above the supports, we still might grind one more time up 
we need to see what Bitcoin did the previous time when we found kind of a top and now yeah finding a top and maybe we do an, another candle up let's see buy the dip until this area this area this is the strong one and that's it level by level now we are consolidating below to make a bounce or let's see what Bitcoin does so basically we rejected this trend line we, we, we try to put everyone bullish to come here to this trend line or even to that one and these ones here but we are testing support before so we also have this parabolic trend line that we can test one more time so it's all like this and then we can grind one more time up to see if, we, if Bitcoin does if we lose this area here and we start to grind lower it's when the problems start to come so area by area and yeah I'll put the daily, so we reject, rejected this trend line here again plus this one and now we are trying to find a position on this trend line on this one as well this we can have a big bounce here and might maybe in fifth in a week on the next weekend we might come here to test the area i was saying on the 6.9 which is aligned with this with this trend line and maybe on the next week on the next sunday or or on the week on by the end of the week let's see this is what i'm seeing i'm seeing the price it might hold here today we can bounce up we can come here bounce up and then suddenly we might come here and then we have a big bounce and if we manage to hold otherwise we will just keep on grinding on this channel down channel we have this up channel and we have of course these big trend lines here for a bounce but this one we already tested this the support will be around here this is the key area for a big bounce on bitcoin otherwise we crash and come to lower levels okay this is where we are the hope and i see the, the top of bitcoin on this trend line here there's two trend lines coming here we didn't manage to get there and which we have been just doing lower lows the big goal of bitcoin at least the first one is to go to reach this 14k 11k 42 reach this trend line and then that one level by level all right i think the explanation was quite good and yeah today is an important day to see if we close above the 21 or the 20 around here but it's better we keep we close above both to to have a more strongly stronger momentum and the buy levels are here on this week on the daily and then all these areas are buying opportunities until here and here okay that's it